Have you ever wondered who's more powerful, nature or human technology? It's a question that echoes in the wild expanse of the North Sea. Here, the relentless waves crash with unyielding force against towering oil rigs, a testament to the enduring conflict between the raw power of nature and the ingeniousness of human technology. These oil rigs, feats of human engineering, stand tall and defiant, even as the sea roars and rages beneath them. They represent our ambition, our desire to harness the riches laying dormant beneath the sea. Yet, the North Sea is a formidable adversary, its strength an awe-inspiring spectacle that challenges our technological prowess at every turn. From the fury of the sea emerges a dance as old as time, a dance between the forces of nature and the resilience of human innovation. And so, the battle rages on, in the heart of the North Sea, where every wave, every gust of wind, is a challenge thrown at our technology. The North Sea in all its fury constantly challenges our technology. To understand this power struggle, we must first understand the birth of these waves. Waves are born out of a compelling interaction between the wind and the ocean's surface. It all starts with a breeze. As the wind brushes the water's surface, it creates friction, which in turn forms ripples. These ripples, or capillary waves, are the infants of the wave world, and they grow larger as the wind continues to blow. Now imagine those ripples maturing into fully grown waves. This process is driven by three key factors, wind speed, fetch, and the duration of the wind. First, wind speed. The faster the wind blows, the larger the waves become. A gentle breeze might only produce a ripple, but a gusty wind can whip up waves several feet high. Next we have fetch, which is the distance over which the wind excites the waves. A longer fetch gives the wind more opportunity to transfer its energy to the water, resulting in larger waves. And finally, the duration of the wind. The longer the wind blows, the more energy it imparts to the water, and the larger the waves become. Now let's bring this back to the North Sea. Its geographical location and topography create conditions that are ripe for wave formation. The North Sea is a relatively shallow body of water, allowing the wind to easily stir up the sea floor and create larger waves. In addition, the region is prone to strong, persistent winds, providing ample opportunity for the formation of large waves. These factors combine to create a perfect storm of conditions for wave growth. The North Sea's powerful waves are born from the interplay of wind speed, fetch and duration, all working in harmony to create a force that is truly awe-inspiring. These factors combine to create the North Sea's powerful waves, a force to be reckoned with. Let's follow these waves on their journey to the oil rigs. From the heart of the North Sea, waves begin their odyssey, small and unassuming at first. They are birthed from the sea's depth, provoked by the restless winds. As they traverse across the vast expanse of the sea, they gain momentum, building in strength and size, transforming into a formidable force. The waves, now giants, relentlessly march towards their destination. The oil rigs. Like titans of the sea, they charge, each crest a challenge, each trough a momentary respite. This is the North Sea, untamed and unyielding. Its waves embody its fury and power. As these waves approach the oil rigs, the true test of human engineering begins. The structures, towering and robust, stand firm against the onslaught. They are designed to withstand these sea titans, built to resist the relentless battering of the waves. The collision of these giants, the waves and the rigs, is an astonishing spectacle. Each impact resonates with a thunderous echo, a testament to the power of nature and the resilience of human technology. But this is not a battle, it's a dance. A dance between the fury of the sea and the resilience of human structures. The oil rigs, despite their rigid frames, sway with the rhythm of the waves, absorbing the energy, minimizing the impact. They are not just static entities in the sea, they are participants, moving and swaying, standing firm yet flexible. In the face of this relentless onslaught, the oil rigs endure. They weather the storm, meeting each wave with resistance, proving the prowess of human engineering. These structures, far from the safety of the shore, are a testament to the human spirit. They symbolize our resolve to venture into the unknown, to face challenges head-on, 
to harness the resources of the deep sea despite its fury. The collision of these titanic forces is a sight to behold. Each collision is a powerful reminder of the power of nature and the resilience of human technology. It's a spectacle that encapsulates the essence of our relationship with nature. A relationship of respect, challenge and adaptation. What happens when these waves crash into our oil rigs? Imagine the sheer force of a wave several meters high colliding with the solid steel structure of an oil rig. The impact is tremendous, sending vibrations through the rig and creating a spectacle of water and spray. The North Sea doesn't hold back, and neither do its waves. These collisions are not without consequence. Over time, the relentless pounding of the waves can cause significant wear and tear to the rigs. Corrosion, structural damage, and operational disruptions are all part and parcel of operating in these rough waters. Yet, the damage isn't solely physical. The psychological toll on the brave workers who face these conditions daily is immense. But let's not forget the marvel of engineering these rigs represent. They are specifically designed to withstand the North Sea's worst. These structures are built with robust materials and advanced technology to absorb and dissipate the energy from the waves. They are equipped with emergency evacuation systems and safety protocols to protect the crew. The legs of the rigs, which plunge deep into the seafloor, are designed to be flexible, allowing them to sway with the waves instead of resisting them. This flexibility reduces the risk of structural damage. The platforms themselves are elevated high above the water level to avoid the most powerful part of the waves. The workers on these rigs are a resilient breed. They are trained to work under these extreme conditions knowing that the North Sea can unleash its fury at any moment. They are the unsung heroes of the energy industry, working tirelessly to keep the oil flowing and the world running. These workers and the technology they use are continually tested and pushed to their limits. Yet they hold strong, they adapt, they improve, and they overcome. Every wave that crashes against the rig is a testament to human ingenuity and resilience in the face of nature's untamed fury. Innovation also plays a crucial role in mitigating the impact of these waves. New materials, better designs and advanced warning systems are all being developed to improve the safety and sustainability of offshore operations. Research is ongoing and every wave, every storm, every challenge faced adds to our knowledge and understanding of how to coexist with the power of the sea. So what happens when the North Sea's waves crash into our oil rigs? They clash. They challenge and they test the limits of human technology and spirit, but they also inspire us to innovate, adapt, and persevere. They remind us of the power of nature and our ability to rise to its challenges. Despite the power of the waves, our technology holds strong. The North Sea may be untamed, but so is the human spirit. And as long as that spirit endures, we'll continue to meet the waves head on, standing strong amidst the fury of the sea. The North Sea is a force of nature, unmatched in its power and beauty. This vast expanse of water, spanning over 750,000 square kilometers, is a testament to the relentless forces of nature. Its strength is seen in the towering waves that crash against human-made structures, defying the very technology we've prided ourselves on. These waves, each one a titan in its own right, are the North Sea's warriors, they rise and fall with a rhythm that's as old as the earth itself, embodying the sea's untamed fury. They collide with the oil rigs, sending shudders through the steel structures, reminding us of the inherent risks in challenging nature's domain. The North Sea is not just a body of water, it's a living, breathing entity. It demands respect, and those who understand this learn to navigate its waters and weather its storms. The oil rig workers, these brave souls, face this formidable force day in, day out, harnessing its power and adapting to its whims. Yet the North Sea is not just about brute strength. It's a complex and dynamic ecosystem, teeming with life, its depths holding secrets we're yet to fully comprehend. Its power is not just in its waves, but in its ability to sustain life, influence climate, and shape landscapes. In its untamed fury, the North Sea presents us with a paradox. It's a reminder of our vulnerability, 
a testament to our resilience and a symbol of our ambition. It challenges us, pushes our limits, and demands our respect. But it also rewards us, not just with its bountiful resources, but with its breathtaking beauty and the lessons it teaches us about our place in the world. The North Sea, in all its untamed fury, reminds us of the power of nature and the resilience of human technology. It tells us a story of conflict and coexistence, of power and perseverance, of fury and awe. And in this story, we find a reflection of our own journey, our struggles, our victories, and our relentless pursuit of progress.